Hello everyone, I'm Garbo, welcome back to the channel, and today we're going to talk about Stop Blaming Crossplay. But before we hop into that, if you haven't liked the video or subscribed to the channel, I would appreciate if you do one of those things, because I'm always trying to upload content every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and the like always motivates me to make more content. So moving on to that, what do I mean by stop blaming crossplay? What are we supposed to be blaming here? What is the reason for the games being, you know, so wopsided? Because this is what the community thinks. The community thinks it's crossplay. Well, we all know, and I'm going to point it out. I didn't. I don't have actual any physical evidence because I'm a slip up, and I've been slipping up on that, and I missed that on this video. So I'm just going to try to explain this the best that I can. <clears throat> so. Crossplay has been in the game from the very beginning, right? Open beta. So this is my argument here. I've been playing crossplay since the open beta. I've been playing it with my friend Griffin256, Dirt Lord, and Co-Read ever since I started playing Rogue Company, and we've always been cross-platform. Dirt Lord and Griffin both play on PC, where me and Corey both play on PS4. So that has never been it. We've always been playing against other players from all kinds of consoles. We played against Switch players, we have played against Xbox players, we have played against PC players, and we've played against PS4 players. All players from all consoles are good alike. There have been I've ran into all players that are good on all consoles. So I don't believe it's the crossplay. I don't believe that at all because like again, I know people are like, oh I'm all I'm all up against PC players, and true, that may be true. You may be up against all PC players, but that doesn't guarantee that all those PC players are actually good and able to take you out. Because again, it really goes by the matchmaking system. This is where I'm trying to get to the point at. Crossplay is not your problem because again, the, this has been in the game from the very beginning. Maybe if y'all y'all are just not used to it, you know, you maybe you're just used to only strictly playing against a certain console and stuff like that, and that's fine. You just you know you just see things, you know, who's key and mouse. You can see it, you you know who's who, all right. And maybe that's why you're you're upset because you're now being able to physically see that you're going up against keyboard keyboard and mouse players, and that's fine. Again, I believe it's the matchmaking because it's different when you're getting put up against a team that maybe scatter out with all different consoles and PCs, but if they're all putting out 3,000 damage, and on your team, your highest damage that you've ever done in a game is only 1,200 damage, you might be up against a higher ranked team, account boosting team, or just matchmaking, just imbalancing you all together. And this happens all the time. This has been a reoccurring thing that's always happened throughout the game, is matchmaking has just somehow always put you up against different teammates, or just give you a really, a teammate that's not even worth your time because you and your other two teammates put up enough damage that they felt like they could just give you this newbie. Because again, they're just trying to backfill. They're just trying to give you a fourth player. They're not worried about if that fourth player is actually able to put out and do as much damage as you do because technically you're able to put out all the damage and they don't want that. So they don't want the team imbalanced as they say quote unquote imbalanced but then they put you in a backfield against with a player that doesn't be able to put out any damage so what does that do for your game well guess what it makes your game imbalanced so then you still end up playing a little lopsided and at a dis disadvantage so in this video today, this is exactly what's happening. Me and this juke go up against these three players, and me and this juke pretty much start just slaughtering them. And it's not the other team's fault, and it's technically not our fault. It is the developers for making the matchmaking system a bust. So me and this juke pretty much run over this team, and they do start making a little comeback, but it's not big enough for them to actually win the game, because pretty much our phantom was absolute garbage. He was a garbage can. He was should not be in the game. You end up leaving, because again, I don't know, maybe he thinks we're cheating, but no, I, at the end of the day, we are up, we, us two were in a matchmaking up against a four stack that was not ready. Again, they were, it's wopsided. Me and this kid do almost 2,000 damage, if not we do 2,000 damage on these kids, and these other kids don't even put out that until about the end of the game, where they're really having to try. So again, 
it's just a real stress so how do we fix the matchmaking and again I pretty much addressed this in two other videos there's pretty much I don't think a way we can fix matchmaking right now by the way the whole account boosting is or anything like that and they would figure out a system to go by KDs and stuff like that or overall average death instead of just I don't know how they have the system work again it looks like to me that they just go by average damage throughout a match and then that's how the system works and if that's how it goes just by damage then that's not enough to go by because you can have excessive amount of damage but never have any downs or have any kills because again your other teammates can be knocking the teams down or you could just have the damage because you're an overall support like it's just not enough information for you to go by and start matchmaking your players up against but again it's not the cross play because of the, that exact same reason because they balance the system out in the same way with the PC players and vice versa so if they put you in a PC lobby and you're just learning row company they're gonna probably put you in a lobby where everybody has a very low average damage or low KDs so again you, it can't be blamed on that because like what if you only play PC and you haven't been playing against any high level players like all your team has only been playing against low level statures you know or I mean because I know you've seen it have you not ran into somebody that might be a level 500 or have you just ran, ran into somebody that just been unstoppable like nothing you could have done would have changed the game like nothing you could no matter how many times you run up on this person you just can't hit your shots on them so y'all let me know in the comment section down below. Am I full of crap? Do you think crossplay is still the problem? Again, I don't think so. Or do you think it's the matchmaking? Do you actually agree with me? You think the matchmaking and the backfill is what's making the game broke? Because I've been thinking that ever since that's happened. But again, the more that ever since people known about crossplay actually being put into the game, people have just been raising, raging about it. And I just don't feel that's, the, that's what's causing our game to be in the state that it's in. Besides all the bug issues. Again, that's a whole nother issue. That's a whole nother video. So y'all let me know in the comment section down below. I'm going to cut right to the content and let y'all see the rest of this video. And I hope y'all have a great day. And I hope to see you on the next video. Peace out. Friendly's eliminated. Friendly's eliminated. That's gonna hurt the bottom line. Enemy spotted. Enemies planted the bomb. Stop them. Then wiped out. Regroup and Oh! 
around. Get out! Defeat is not hey. an option. Trial and error. The pleasure is all mine.